How's it going everybody? This is Corbin here from Zoco Marketing. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up the TikTok pixel for your Shopify store. This will allow you so you can track purchases, um, add to the cart and all those different things um, inside here. So stay tuned. You'll definitely want to uh, pay attention to this video if you're gonna be running ads on TikTok through Shopify or even if you are building your Shopify store, TikTok's becoming a really popular and growing platform. So I'm gonna show you how to set up this pixel real quick here. So the first thing is you need to create a TikTok ads account um, and then after you've created that, you're gonna see a dashboard that looks similar, something similar to this. You're gonna to wanna to click on this assets here and then we're gonna click, click event. Wait for this to load up. And then if you are running an app, you can do uh, manage event, app event tracking if you're running an app install campaign. But for the majority of the people, you've come here because of this website pixel, we're gonna hit manage. Now you'll probably see a little bit different of a screen when you first hit that because I already set up a pixel over here on the left, as you can see. So it'll probably be something like create your first pixel or something along those lines, but I'm gonna hit create pixel right here. And we're gonna call this um, my Shopify pixel. And as you can see, you can go through and add the code manually. Um, so you can copy and paste the code and put it into your Shopify um, code through the theme.liquid, which is one option, but uh, Shopify has actually made an easier option in the past couple of months. And that's why I wanted to update this video and bring it to you is that they actually have now have a direct integration with Shopify. So we're gonna hit this next here and we're gonna hit connect with Shopify, hit next. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna walk us through, say, hey, you need to go through and um, connect your, your business account. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to, so now in the saying, once you've set up this in Shopify, then come back to this step. So we're gonna go over to Shopify here. We're gonna go to the app store. We're gonna search for an app. And we're gonna download the TikTok app. It's literally just called TikTok. So TikTok. Wait for that to load up and uh, don't pay for any of these things. You just want this one that's directly by TikTok Inc. We're gonna click this one. And we're gonna add this app to our Shopify store. We're gonna wait for this to load up. And uh, if you're finding value in the video today, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help us, a small YouTuber like myself. Okay, and after that has been downloaded, it'll take you to a screen that looks something like this. So we are going to add this sales channel here. Wait for that to load up. And next, we're just gonna hit this setup now here. We're going to then need to connect our account to our TikTok account. So we're gonna hit create connect account here. And I'm using the same Gmail for both accounts. So it makes it easy to connect those things. Hit connect here. It's gonna pull that in. As you can see, it found my, uh, my ads manager account. That's the one that I want. So we make sure that that's the correct one. And then we're gonna scroll down here and we're going to hit connect right on this. Then next we need to accept these terms and conditions right here. Pixel tracking, so as you see my Shopify pixel, that's the one that I created inside of there, so that's the one that we want. We wanna hit connect. And then this is going to ask about advanced matching features. You most likely do wanna keep this enabled. You might have to change some things in your privacy policy um, for the to add it to TikTok different things, but most of the time you're gonna to wanna to keep this enabled. And then we're gonna select our target locations. For me, I am only going for the United States, so I'm gonna confirm that in there. And I've already added a payment method. So um, we're gonna hit go to payment method. It should be already attached to my account. It's bringing us back there. And yep, there's my payment method. So now we go back to Shopify and everything is now all set up. It says, great job. Now you're ready to start running campaigns and growing on TikTok business. So now we're gonna go back over to Shopify and we're gonna hit, I've set up the pixel for Shopify. This is going to load up. And now, as you can see, we have my Shopify pixel. Now, this will probably take a little bit of time to start seeing data inside of here, but you will want to go to your store and check the to make sure that the pixel is on there and everything's firing correctly. So I'll show you how to do that right now. And here we are on my demo Shopify uh, site. If you follow me on YouTube, you know that this site has been a long time uh, just in the demo phase. Maybe one day I'll finish it and uh, actually have a, an apparel shop here. But anyways, what you're gonna wanna do is download the TikTok Pixel Helper. As you see, I have it up here in my Chrome extension. So just go to Google Chrome, download tic TikTok Pixel Helper. And this will, then when you land on your website, you're gonna wanna click on this and you'll notice when we look here, there is a page view, it's my Shopify Pixel. Now you're not gonna wanna stop there. What you're gonna wanna do is actually go through your checkout flow to make sure that it's tracking the events as the user goes through the process. So you can create look like audiences and all sorts of advanced features inside of there. So for instance, you wanna come to your catalog or wherever your store is at, just click on any of your products and you'll notice here in the TikTok Pixel Helper, 
we're going to get a couple more events that are firing um, inside of here and you're going to want to make sure these are working. So we're going to click in on this and you'll notice that now there is a page view and a product detail page view. And as you see, we're on a product page view. So that's why that is firing. And then what, what's what happens when I add this to cart. So if I add to cart and then we click on this, now you'll notice that a, an event fired add to cart. So um, uh, you kind of get the idea, but you want to go through now and actually view the cart. And then if you can send a test payment through as well to make sure that the purchase event fires, which is obviously the most important one inside of there. So um, for instance, if we go here to checkout page, you'll see that now, um, I think there's another event that fires inside of there. Wait for this to load up. Um, once again, don't forget to subscribe if you found value today. And we're going to click on this and you'll see that now the initiate checkout is inside of there. So I'm not gonna go any farther and actually initiate a test purchase, but um, that is how you set up your Facebook, or your, sorry, your Shopify pixel. And I wonder if these events are not gonna be, no, yeah, see, let's refresh this and see if these events are firing inside of there yet. Not quite, so it's still taking just a second here. Okay, so about uh, five or 10 minutes has gone by, and as you can see now, those events have started registering in here. So when we go to my Shopify pixel, you can click in and you'll see that we have uh, the total events. It's nice because it breaks it out into all those different things that we talked about. So there is the page views that I had, the add to cart, the um, product page views, and then the initiate checkout. So the pixel is working. Everything looks like it's firing correctly. I didn't go all the way through to purchase, but if I did, I imagine I would see it inside of there. Um, and that is how you set up the TikTok pixel. Um, if you want to learn how to set up a full TikTok ads campaign, I've actually created a full video for that from beginning to end. Uh, now that you have your pixel set up, uh, you're halfway through there. So don't forget to check out that video if you wanna start running ads on TikTok. And um, once again, don't forget to subscribe. It really means the world to me. We'll see you in the next video.